Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today I am still wearing a ice hockey jersey. I'm wearing a jumper, and I'm wearing a dressing gown all at the same time. It is very cold today, so uh, that's the reason for that. If you want to talk about it, talk about it. That's fine. Anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to attempt to build something that is based on the mouse. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, it is a really heavy boy... Um, used by the German military in World War II, that was, um, I, I, I'm only gonna call it a very heavy boy. That's why I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. Anyway, I'm gonna make a tank that is inspired by it, so, um, let's just jump straight into Sandbox and start building, shall we? Ooh, actually, if you guys haven't seen the video of this build yet, then, uh, you should check out my channel for it. It was actually a pretty decent tank, to be totally honest with you guys. Um, but the video didn't do that well, but, yeah, if you guys wanna check it out, uh, it's on my channel. Yeah. Okay, let's get started then. So, we're gonna go ahead and do this guy right here. Awesome sauce. We're gonna go to mobility, go to fenders, and get rid of those as well. Now, this thing was like 10 meters long-ish, so we're gonna go ahead and make this 10 meters long. Uh, that is insane, but there you go, 10 meters long. Excellent. Um, we're then gonna go ahead and do the tracks real quick, and honestly, I feel like the separation on the tracks is actually gonna be less. All right, we're gonna go with like 1.1 meters. There we go. I know that's pretty strange, but then the actual tracks themselves are really wide. We're going to go with 1.2. There you go. That might be a little bit strange, uh, but that's kind of what I want. Let's go ahead and make things bigger, make all the tracks look nice, and then go from there. This should work. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and go to faces and actually extend this guy forwards like so. And extend this guy all the way backwards like so as well. There we go. It's going to be kind of crazy to do this, I'm not going to lie. But it is just based on it. It doesn't necessarily have to look exactly like the real thing. It's a bit of a cop-out for me, but that's what I want to do. So there you go. Anyway, let's try and build this. Make it look nice. It'll be great. Okay, so I've gone ahead and actually changed the sizes of a few of the bits on the outside. I'm assuming that's okay. We're going to go with thickness and make that actually incredibly thick. That's fine. We're also going to make them really long, and the width is going to stay as is, so that's okay. I mean, that is fine, um, as as what we want. So there you go, we're going to leave that as is. Um, then what we want to do is, let's go ahead and raise this up so that it's at the top of the thingamabobbies, the top of the actual tracks themselves, and we want to design that so it's a little bit nicer. I'm actually going to go ahead and raise... Mm, I feel like it should be raised up, but I'm not sure anymore. Anyway... Um, what we can do is actually extend this up like so, bring this up quite high, and then extend them out the sides, just like this, which will come over the edges of there, and I know that's weird, but that's what I want, um, and then we need to go to there, we need to bring this backwards to about here, extend this, so that it can be extended downwards, uh, just like so. So far I've built a box. Realistically though, the mouse is a lot like a box, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so. Grab this one, this one, this one, and send those backwards. But also, everything needs to come upwards too. So we need to grab all of these, including that one and including that one. Bring it upwards quite high. And I guess we actually need to go ahead and make these guys go backwards a little bit more. Um, yeah, it might look a little bit ugly, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay, so from the picture I'm looking at, uh, the side was actually, it had this little like edging like this. I know that might not be quite right, but I think it's pretty close. So we're going to leave that as is. We're going to go ahead and raise these guys up a little bit too. And we need to design the front end and hopefully make this look nice as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure how that's going to go though, but we'll go ahead and bring this forwards. I'll try and angle it the same as everything else is currently. Uh, and hopefully that'll look okay. So let's do this. There we go. We're then going to go ahead and extend it again, question mark? I don't know, I, I need to come across. In fact, we might as well just do this. There we go, so build this in across here like this, and we can go to wherever we want with that. I'm thinking we literally just bring it to here though, uh, and I think that'll be fine. Yeah, it's a bit ugly, but I think it'll work. Okay, so I, I honestly think that's okay, uh, leaving the front end like that. It's, it's kind of natural, that's fine. So, if we go to the rear, we're gonna go ahead and bring this guy, or all of it, backwards a little bit more. Uh, and essentially, I just want to attach it all together. So, let's bring it backwards like this. Uh, we'll then actually extend this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and these guys. Extend them all. There we go. We're then going to go ahead and extend this from here all the way across. 
All right, it might not be the best way of doing it, but that's what we're going to go with. Um, then, we obviously have to angle it inwards, so we're going to grab all of these. I don't know the best way of doing this, actually. But essentially, that comes in. We're going to go ahead and do these. Bit oh, no. It's all a bit... It's all a bit weird and ugly. <laughs> it's, a, it's all a bit weird and ugly, guys. All right, here we go. Do this. All right, if I can grab those as well. Oh, no. The, I've, gr I've made a bit of a mess here. Because the inside, this this one and this one also have to do the same... Mm, and that one. Uh, all have to do the same thing. So if we can angle them all in... Yeah, it, it, it needs to all be angled. Which is a very strange feeling here. Alright, there we go. Do that, like this. I feel like that's not angled enough, but it also looks really weird. Okay, so I've taken that all back out because I feel like I needed to, and uh, we're going to leave a lot of this as is, except the top bit is actually going to be moved inwards. This is the bit that is angled, and uh, the, the bit that's going to continue to be angled. So we're going to do something like this. The only thing that I want to change about that is the rear end I actually want to bring down. So I want to do something like this that brings the rear end down. Uh, I'm also going to do it to this piece and probably this piece too. Maybe just this piece for now. Um, there we go. If I can merge that, actually, that's fine. So let's go ahead and like grab that, merge it with this one. Merge. There we go. Good. Go ahead and send this forwards just a tiny bit. Do the same thing with this. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Um, I don't mind leaving this little like pad out here. I think that's okay. And uh, I might even extend it downwards as well a little bit if I can. Uh, if I... Have I broke it? I broke it. This piece shouldn't be here, should it? Uh, maybe it shouldn't. Maybe it should. Who knows? This is increasing the size of it. This is decreasing the size of it. I've already failed. I've done something weird. And I don't know what to do about it. But if I can go to faces. And I can grab all of these. That's fine. Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. So, if we're going to extend this one in. That would be awesome. But it's not something that I can do. I can't actually go inwards with that. It's really annoying, because I want to. Hmm. Okay, so uh, I guess we'll just leave it as is. That's okay. So for now, we'll go ahead and grab these guys. Uh, all of them. There we go. And we're going to angle that bit forwards, because I feel like it should be. This guy, we're go we're going to angle it as well. We're going to do that for now. That's okay. And uh, we'll do this a little bit more, and we should be good. So grab those ones all the way to there, and angle that forwards. There we go. And let's see what that looks like. It's not quite right, but it's okay. Okay, we're just going to roll with it. We, we're actually just going to roll with this. I, I honestly think this is fine. So, uh, we need to obviously put a driver's view on this. I don't know where the driver would even sit. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't know. Um, but let's go ahead and just start like making things up from here. I think that's okay. So, we're going to go ahead and have crew hatches on the top like so. In order to get in and out of the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and attach these guys to the edges over there. And we're going to attach them to there as well. We're then actually going to go ahead and send these sideways. There. Okay. That actually doesn't look too bad so far. Uh, we're then going to go to view ports again. And we're going to add two sights. Two sights. I know that might be a little bit strange. But we'll go with it. Uh, to there. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and push these guys backwards. Actually. Might be easier to do it this way. There we go. Uh, and that's how we're going to drive this vehicle, with viewports right there. Look, it moves. It already moves. I honestly feel like it should all be squished down a little bit too, by the way. Uh, I feel like this angle on the front is a little bit too big, and I feel like it should be squished. Like, the whole top end should come down. But it doesn't really matter. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. So, uh, on the rear, we're going to go ahead and add one of these on both sides. And we're going to make them tall. I, I like the idea of this, actually. Um, this is where we're going off-piste. So this is not going to look like a mouse anymore. I mean, it is a little bit, but not really. Okay, cool. Uh, go to mobility. We're going to add the fuel tank. Here we go. And that is going to be huge, actually. But we're going to squidge them. So these guys are going to be big. All right, they're going to be real big. We're going to put them there. And then we're going to squidge them so that they look like this. And then we're going to try and put them on there. Like so. Okay, that's about right, actually. We're then going to go ahead and try and push them in. Mm, there we go. And that is looking pretty cool. I like it. Okay, the next thing I feel like we should actually do is add a turret. So we're going to go ahead and smash this on straight away. Here we go. It is big. 
Obviously, it's big. Uh, we're going to base it on the mouse one, obviously. So, um, let's go ahead and go to faces. I don't want it to be, like, too crazy looking. So, we're going to go ahead and make it really wide to begin with, obviously. Um, not quite to the edge, though, but very close. We're then going to grab this edge and this one. We're going to grab both of those and send it in. We're then going to go to faces. We're going to grab this one and we're going to bring it up. There we go. And then, essentially, this is quite long. Okay, this is also quite long. I don't know whether there's like an angle on the back. I, I have a feeling there is. So we're going to bring this backwards a little bit more. We're then going to grab this guy and send it forwards just like this. Grab that guy as well and do this. There we go. So that's the rear. We're then going to go to the front. Extend it again. Uh, it does come forwards quite far, but not that far. And then it's got like a really weird bit to it. So we'll extend this and we'll start squidging. All right, just a little bit of squidging at a time. So extend that. A little bit of squidging. There we go. As long as we squidge it, it's fine. Squidge it. Yeah, we're squidging. And there we go. Maybe I should have been squidging the other way too, but that's fine. Okay, so extend. Squidge a little bit more. Yeah, and I should be squidging this way too. But never mind. Okay, so extend it. Squidge it. And squidge it. And I don't know. We'll leave it like that. That is weird looking, but sure. So, let's go to firepower. Grab ourselves one of these. And smash it on there. It's going to be big. It's going to be really big. Maybe not that big. There. Okay, right. Send it in. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. And that is looking ugly. Ah, oh, I can't do the fronts of these things. I really can't. Get rid of it. Okay, we're going we're gonna to have it continue and be round. We're just going to make it round. So extend this. Keep it going. So that's going to go like that and like this. We're going to extend it again. No! Undo. Squidge it. Yes, squidge it more. Yep, and then do it again. Squidge and squidge. There, we're going to leave it like that. That looks crazy. <laughs> that looks pretty crazy, but if we round it off a little bit, that might be fine. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one, guys. I'm not sure. I've tried my best, and we're going we're gonna to leave it as is, but it's ugly. Um, right, okay, that's fine. It's fine. We're leaving it as it is. I don't know why we are. Okay, sure. So, the main turret is going to go in the middle. We're going to have it be absolutely mahusive in terms of its mantlet. We're going to go ahead and shove the mantlet back so that it looks like it fits better. <laughs> That's the main reasoning for it. Um, and we're going to have it like that. However, I am going to squidge it and I'm going to make it a little bit taller. There we go. Right, okay. That is horrible. That is horrible. I feel like the mantlet should look way better than this, but I just, yeah... I don't know. It's me. Uh, we're then going to add a secondary gun, which is going to go next to it right here. Okay. So maybe if we actually push this one sideways, we can have this one slightly sideways too. I'm actually going to make this way smaller. There we go. And it's going to fit right there. Bosh. Okay, put that inside. And there we go. Okay, so it's in the turret. That's fine. So it's got two guns. It's got the one to the side. It's got the big gun on the front. That's it. Okay, so the main gun is uh, caliber 128, 128 by like 800 and something. We're going to go with 800, uh, 900. We're going 900 for now. There you go. Bosh. Okay. I don't know how big the, the actual thing is going to be. Wait, that's the wrong one. Of course it's done the wrong one. I mean, it was me that did the wrong one, but you know. 128. There we go. And then 800 and 900. We're going 900. Bam. There we go. This one on the side, I'm not sure what this one is. I actually don't know, so we'll have to figure that one out later. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and extend this, make it real big. Two meters long, plus another meter, maybe even two. There we go. Plus another bit that is going to be about another two meters long. Actually, maybe just another meter. There we go. We're going to make it all bigger too. So we'll go with um, 50? It's millimeters, so it's like five centimeters thick. That seems to make sense to me. And we're going to have that for like the entire barrel, pretty much. 50-50. Okay. 50-50. There we go. Okay, so that's quite a thick barrel, but I think it works. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, so the gun to the side is actually a 75mm gun. So let's go back to this one. 75mm. Uh, I don't know how big the round length is going to be. We're going to go with actually quite small. Uh, oh, the propellant length, I should say. 250. There, that seems about right. Uh, I'll make the barrel a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, depending on what we need. 
Uh, and we'll put that there. Okay, do we need it longer or shorter? Probably a bit longer. Okay, and we'll leave it like that. There we go. That actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah. I mean, it's a bit ugly, but it's not too bad. Uh, right, I'm going to send this back this way just a little bit. There we go. And we'll leave that as is. Is it wanting to be longer or not is the question. Counterweight. All right, counterweight it quite a bit. And recess it just a little tiny bit so that we can actually aim this. And we go with that. That's cool. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so now I think it's open to me to do whatever I want with it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, decorate this a little bit. Hopefully I'll come back and it'll look really nice. So yeah, I'll be back with you guys in a second. Alright, this is what we've got, guys. So we are currently at 43 tons, and uh, I honestly think it looks okay. Clearly, I've put a livery on it, as you guys can already see. Uh, it is a German livery, and uh, yeah, I don't think it looks too bad. It doesn't look amazing. I'm not, I'm not saying it does, but uh, I think it looks okay. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to go ahead and add armor to it. Okay, this is going to be the crazy bit. Uh, there is literally going to be 200 millimeters of armor everywhere. Uh, I have built this in the interwar period. We're going to go with late war, though. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go through all of this. And uh, essentially, I'm going to put 200 mil of armor almost everywhere. It's not quite that. Uh, on the sides and stuff, it is only like 180, but you know, it's close. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, so we currently weigh almost 200 tons. I, I know that's far too much. Uh, the real one actually weighed 188, I believe. So um, that's okay, I guess. Anyway, we're going to go to this. I don't know what kind of horsepower the real one had. We're going to have to go with crazy amounts of... Um, crazy amounts of size and cylinders. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, 2,200 is what we're going to go with here. And let's see if it moves. It does, in fact... Move. Okay. Right, we need one gun of sight, uh, which is going to go somewhere on here, and then we can probably go from there, question mark? I don't know. Let's go ahead and whack this on the... S oh, can I actually put it on the mantlet? Let's go ahead and put that there, see if we can even aim. Okay, the turret does turn. The turret does turn. Very slowly. Okay, let's make that a little bit quicker, shall we? Um, the, the pivot point of the turret isn't actually amazing, but that's fine. So, um, ratio. Du, 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 torque maximum. Ratio maximum. Sure, we're going to go with that. There we go, that's fine. Um, elevation of the gun. I guess we could change that too, but we're not going to. So, this is my second mouse. Mouse. M A U S, right? M A U S. Mouse. There we go, save. Right, okay. We're going to have to try and use this in a battle. It's going to have to be a custom battle, though, because it won't let me do it in a normal one. All right, guys, here we are. We are in, and uh, we are we're going into battle. This is going to be crazy. Um, there is four of us. No, actually, there's three of us versus six Tiger 2s. So we're going to go ahead and head in there and see if we can take out the Tiger 2s. We are big, beefy boys, um, as we already know, but let's... Was that a tree that I just crushed? I don't know. We're going in. Here we go. I, I don't actually see any enemies just yet, but that's fine. Oh, I just got shot in the side? Question mark. Did I get shot by a friendly? Ah. A tiger just killed me. I mean, it makes sense. They have a big gun, but... Wow. And we've only got flat sides. I mean, that's another issue. I haven't even been able to fight it yet. All right, there's an enemy. Let's get our gun pointed towards them. And fire. Neither of our rounds went through there. Neither of them. Alright, let's reload. And fire. Okay. Why aren't I firing the big gun? Or am I? Can't tell. Is that the big gun? I don't even know which gun's firing here. Because I feel like the little gun should be firing. No, the big gun is firing. I'm confused. Okay. We're going to have to win. We have to win. Okay, there is an enemy out there that we can just about see. Uh, it's just gone out of view, actually. So, th there's trees everywhere, and it's really annoying because I can't see anything else. Um, yeah, okay. There's an enemy tank right there somewhere. We're not getting through their armor. 
We are not getting through their armor whatsoever. That's not good. In fact, that's really bad. Okay, I'm going to keep reversing. I'm going to keep reversing. All right, there's an enemy. It's showing its butt to us. It's got to die. There we go. Right, we killed one. I don't think my other gun is actually shooting, uh, and it's definitely not, and that's a problem. And I know why it's not shooting. It's because I didn't select the gunner to shoot it. Actually, that's a good point. Okay, so let's go ahead and fix that real quick, shall we? So let's go to this. Uh, da, 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 da. Actually, crew. Yes. Gonna. Yes. We also need an extra loader, so let's go ahead and get one of those. And I'm going to go ahead and get a radio operator as well, purely because we can. Um, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and get one of these. Mm -mm -mm. A radio operator stick. That's what I'm going to call those. Antenna. I'm going to call them radio operator sticks. Okay, and we're going to go back and we're going to... We're going to do the custom battle again. Uh, second mouse. Second. Two. Three. Okay, we're going to have three mouses versus... Um, versus... A bunch of Tiger 2s. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, everything's already shooting. I don't know what's going on, but it's fine. So, uh, let's turn our gun towards the enemy, wherever they may be. Oh my, I'm surprised those guys aren't shooting me, actually. But we're going to travel through. Knock down the trees that we need to knock down. You know, deforestation, it's fine. This is wartime. This is just what happens. And we need to figure out where the enemy... They've killed my radio man. Straight away. My radio operator's dead. Alright, where are these enemies? I can't see the one that's shooting me. Oh, it's probably there. I can't see it though. That's annoying. I hit it with one of those. But I can't see it. Okay, right. Let's just keep an eye out for the other guys. I know there's one there. So let's go ahead and shoot that guy. Here we go. Turn our gun towards them. It's not good. It's not going well. It's not going well. Keep shooting. Yeah. Keep shooting. It's not going through. I can't kill Tiger 2s. I feel like I should be able to. Although these are Tiger 2s made by me, so they've probably got loads of armor. But Oh, there you go. One's dead. Alright. <laughs> well, we got one. Let's continue through here, and we'll try and get some more. De -de 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 -de. Aim the gun, please. Three, two, one. Fire! Yes! Okay, right. We're getting the hang of it. Cross over the railway. Let's go. Oh, look at it. It is a big boy. It is a big boy. All right, guys, we're going through. Here we go. So there are enemy tanks over there. Oh, they're already shooting me. Okay, they're about to start moving in. All right, three, two. Oh, actually, hang on. Wait for the big gun. One of my loaders died. Okay, and I'm dead. Oh, you know what I didn't do, actually? I didn't upgrade the mantlet. I, I didn't upgrade the mantlet. So I think what's actually happening here is... They're able to shoot through it. Yeah, because it's not armored at all. Even though everything's like 200 millimeters of armor. If they hit me in the gun, I die. Yeah, that's my bad, that, actually. That is my bad. But anyway, let's stay back here and see if we can take these out as they come for us. Here we go. So, as long as they aren't able to shoot at me first, I might have a chance of actually killing them. Maybe. I love that I can just crush trees, by the way. One of my favorite bits. Okay, so there is an enemy up there on our left. Just there. We can just about see them. Uh, let's get our gun ready. Three, two, one, fire! I might attract it. That's probably a good thing. Then there's another enemy that is trying to shoot through his friend behind this guy. So we're going to have to deal with him as well. But I can't see the guy on the left anymore, so let's continue through. There he is. Okay, aim the big gun, please. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. He's actually shooting through my armor. This is so bad. My engine's dead. I can't see a single thing. I can't see anything. He's still peppering me. Die! Oh, God. Okay, put out the fire. That might be a good idea. I'm just going to keep shooting while I can. Uh, hopefully everybody survives. No, never mind. Okay, 
So I've made a tank that is too powerful in the Tiger 2 that's there. And also I've made this one very weak by making the mantlet very weak. It doesn't have any armor, so it's just going to go straight through. Sag. Big Sag. Okay, so I, I actually think I'm going to leave this one here for now. Let me know in the comments down below how you think this thing looks. I honestly think it, it looks okay. You can tell the, what I was basing it off, but uh, obviously it doesn't look amazing. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.